Jessica, good evening. Gillian Maxwell, guilty. A heavy sentence can now be handed down to a woman who was good born evening, into Mark. a life of privilege. Indeed, she can expect to spend the rest of her life behind bars. She was found guilty on five of those six counts, including the most serious, uh, the sex trafficking across state lines. And that carries a penalty of up to 40 years in prison. She is 60 years old. She turned 60 on Christmas Day, her birthday. Uh, and uh, she can expect to get a sentence that might be as long as 60 years following her, her this guilty verdict at uh, the federal court here in New York. Uh, up until the last moment, reporters here didn't know uh, what sort of sentence she would end up getting, what the jury would decide. That jury made up of six men and six women. Uh, they asked for all sorts of transcripts of the uh, witnesses, those who testified in this case. They really combed through uh, all of the information to make their decision uh, and they took their time. Indeed, Judge Nathan, uh, she prompted them uh, to get on with it because uh, there is a steep uh, rise in the number of coronavirus cases here in New York, and she thought that that could potentially uh, derail uh, this uh, these jury deliberations, uh, especially because one of the jury members is reportedly uh, not vaccinated. Uh, but we got this uh, uh, very heavy guilty verdict for Gillen Maxwell. Her, her defence uh, seems to have failed in their argument uh, to shift the blame uh, and say that uh, she was being made a scapegoat for Jeffrey Epstein. It seems that the jury did believe the prosecution uh, that she was really Jeffrey Epstein's partner in crime in the abuse of these girls that she uh, knew exactly what she was doing when she went out to seek them for him to abuse when she groomed them and manipulated them. She knew exactly what she was doing. That's what the prosecution argued. Thank you very much indeed. Jessica Mazzure, our correspondent there in New York.